Hi, we are Simbons, and this is a, a review on a phone about the system. I know things. This is Brendan. I also know things, and I know more things than he does. Mm. So, guys, Huawei's out, and you know that um, we had the US thing with, uh, with the China and the USA, Adam, and then Android is now off the Huawei. Actually, that's not true. See, and this is actually why we're here. So there's a lot of people who think, oh, you can't get Android on your Huawei phone. You can't get, like, you know, Yassine loves his Instagram and his TikTok. He's going to do today. They get dance for us. You're going to teach us. I know the tick. I don't know the tuck. <laughs> so people think they can't get those on their Huawei phones, and that's actually not true. So that's what we're going to figure out today. So, so they, there's no Android on the new Huawei. Okay, so we're going to jump into that. But before we jump into that, we've got P30 Pro. Yep. So that one is Android, as you know, it was, you know, your Google mobile services, all your favorite apps, your Gmail, all that stuff. Then there's the Mate 30 Pro. That's the one that came out after the whole US thing. So this one has Android, but not Android the way you know it. So that's what we're going to figure out today. No. See, that confusing look is exactly why we're talking about this. Okay, so the easiest way to do it is we're going to start with the P30 Pro because that's the one that everybody knows. So P30 Pro, like the P30 Lite, P30... Standard. You know, the Y9s, all those things, standard. You can get, you know, so you've got all your normal apps on here, your Instagram, all your Google apps, your Gmail, your Google, YouTube, Google Drive, all that stuff. And you can see, I mean, as in you, you can see this. Why do you have so many apps on your so phone? I, I do actually use most of these apps. Most of these apps. And you can see it looks like Huawei normally looks. Yeah. So that's exactly the same. Doesn't look any different. Now, if we're going to move over to the Mate 30 Pro, we'll see basically the same app for the most part. Looks the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I don't see any difference really. So the difference is actually very small. So you'll see here, we've got Google Play Store. That's where you get your apps from. Standard. And obviously on the P30 Pro, you know, pretty much every other Huawei phone, you've also got Huawei's App Gallery. You know what? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the Mate 30 Pro, no Play Store. So what you've got instead is Huawei's App Gallery. So I'm getting a little scared now. I'm not going to lie. Because for me, I've, all, like, I've always been Android, yeah. Android boys. And I feel like I'm a little scared if there's no Play Store. So you see, that's what a lot of people are feeling. And, and they're hearing a lot of things where it's like, oh, hey, there's no Play Store. means there's no Android. That's not the case. So we need to first figure out what Android actually is. So Android, you know, is an operating system. That's what runs on like your Huawei's, you know, there's like other phones, like your Sony's, your Blackberry, do they still exist? I don't know. Then, you Guys, know, if, if you are using a Blackberry, don't. We need to have a conversation. <laughs> um, you need to get a Huawei. Yeah, so it's, you know, there's multiple phones that run Android. And what it does is operating system, you get your apps from, you know, the app gallery and most other companies, including Samsung, have the own version of an app gallery as well. Huawei does too. It's called App Gallery. And what they've done is they've tried to sort of replicate the Google mobile services and that's what you're not getting on this one. So you're probably sitting there like, Google, what? Yeah. So tell me more, tell me more. Um, so Google mobile services that you're getting on, like your P30, your P30 Lite, your P20, your Mate the 20 series, all of those, your Y9s. What those are doing is all these apps you use. So like your banking apps or like your Uber, for example. Yeah. Uber needs location services to be able to obviously know where they're going to pick you up. Yes. So Uber's not providing it. Google's providing that because that's Google's location services it's using. Okay. Now on a, on a Mate 30 Pro or like the new Y7P, for example, or, you know, the upcoming phones that are coming out soon, um, we know that those don't have like this Google location services or Google advertising services, you know, which some of these apps use. So what do you do? So what Huawei's done is they've actually started working on their own version of those same services. That's Huawei mobile services. Oh. So if you look at like Uber, for example, you'll see now you sort of what works and what doesn't. You can't download the Uber app, but you can still use Uber on this phone now. What they've done is they signed an agreement with a company like TomTom. Now we all know TomTom does GPS to do mapping and TomTom's going to be providing their location services. Oh. So you're still getting most of these apps that you, you love. It's just not, the experience for you is going to be the same. It's just on the back end that you're not going to see as a person buying the phone, using the phone, that it's going to be minor differences. If you're developing an app, then it's a different story. But for the end user, it doesn't actually make that big of a difference. That, so everything is there? Most of the things are there. So this is where all the confusion is coming in. Okay. Because like I said, people think that it means uh, it's not Android. It is Android. Because the way Android works is there's actually two versions of Android. See, so we all know Amazon. We don't have them in South Africa, but we know them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know Amazon's got an app store. Yeah. 
and you know the, the Kindle Fire tablets and yeah. all those things. They work on Android, but they're not using Google services. So you get two versions of Android, and that's why we're talking about this. You get the one where companies like Huawei and you know all these other Android manufacturers, they have to pay. So they go to Google, put a new phone. You know, we want to have Google Drive, Google Maps. We want to have Chrome. We want to have all of these things on there. Google's like, yeah, sure, it's going to cost you. So that's how you get all of these things pre-installed. Oh. So they, as a company, are actually paying for it from Google. But now you get another version of Android called Android Open Source Project. So if you were like, I'm bored the one day, I'm going to go build a phone, I want an operating system, you can go ahead and get Android Open Source Project. It's free. You can download it. Build your own operating system on top of that. So it's still Android. So Android is like a Linux. Is it Basically, like Linux? It's, it's, it's like Linux. I know things. Look at this. Look at this. Fancy voice. Um, but that's that's what it is. This is still Android. And the fun thing about you know Android that we know, that we used to for all these years, is like 85% of those apps don't need all of those special Google services. So like 85% of the apps in Google's Play Store are actually going to work on Huawei App Gallery. So what is... What is HMS? Is that high musical school? I mean, is that like a spin-off of high school musical? I, I'd watch it. <laughs> I would watch that actually. Is it on Showmax? <laughs> um, so what that is, that's Google. So that's Huawei's answer to Google's mobile services. Remember, Google's mobile services are those things on the back end side that make your apps work. So like the location, like you know, the ability for your banking apps to work. Huawei just created their own version of exactly those same things. Because of what the US ban means is they can use Android open source project because they're not buying it from Google, mm -hmm. but they can't get the core apps that you used to, that you had pre installed on your phone. So like your Google Chrome, like your Google Drive, Google Photos and all of those things. Okay, guys, I'm only asking the real questions here and I'm concerned about the viewers. So Instagram? Yeah. Instagram is here. Facebook? Unfortunately, yes, because you know we should actually be looking at how we use Facebook, but yes, it's here. You can see Facebook it. is how we keep in contact with our older aunties. <laughs> This is actually <laughs> <laughs> Is there Twitter? Yes, there is Twitter. That's how I was tweeting you the other day. And tweet it was Twitter in night mode as well? Twitter in night mode. I even have WhatsApp in night mode. Thank you very Whoa. much. Which actually just rolled out because I had the beta on my other phone. Yeah. And then it's rolled out to the normal versions of WhatsApp just the other day. And it's on this phone. Okay. So guys, one more reason to get this. In fact, my Facebook updated last night. Is is there is there Facebook night mode yet? No. 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 Facebook likes to hurt our eyes. With messages from our family. Uh, uh, is so WhatsApp is there? You said WhatsApp is here. Is Spotify there? Yes, my Spotify. It's like okay. most of the apps that you used to will work. But now the big question is, people are asking my Gmail. You yes, can, you yes, can see here. Yes, there's no Gmail on here. <laughs> so, Gmail is part of the core suite of apps from Google that you can't get. Okay, but now Huawei has its own email client. Okay, all the Huawei phones have, all Android phones have their own email client that's not Gmail. Okay. Right. It literally is just called, you can see it, email. So if I go into my email, you see minus setup. That's all my Gmail. I've linked this to my Gmail account. So all you do is you can go into the settings, you can add a new account and it asks you for your password for the email address, and then it syncs up. All my Gmail comes through to my phone anyway. So it's still your Gmail, your email from your Gmail that you get from a female and that you can still just get on your phone via other app. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about if I need maps? What do I use for maps? So maps actually works for another company. We can't talk about them. Oh, you mean Google Maps? Sorry. <laughs> Buns out. <laughs> Tell me more. Um, so no, you can't get Google Maps as an app. Okay. You can, if you use the browser, actually go into the browser and go to the Google Maps. I'll show you. See? Google. So you can still use... So you can do... If you go open the browser, it'll give you a link to Google Maps online. Okay, cool which I don't love, but it works. What I do, and what actually does work really wonderfully, is Waze. You can get Waze on this phone. I know Waze. Waze lives down the road. Even <laughs> some of you know Waze. Where is the world is a Waze. <laughs> Welcome to the boring <laughs> joke show, guys. So, so there's replacements for all the stuff? All of it, except Google Drive is the thing that I'm not going to lie, is, 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 I'm, I'm sad about. So you can't get Google Drive on here. Again, you can go to the website from the browser, you can sign into Google Drive, and you can get your stuff that way. It works. It's not ideal. But so you works. can still download that Google app? You can't download the app. Okay. You have to go onto... Onto the web... Through the website yeah. into the thing. Okay, so it's still there. It's, it's not still there. But this is where, the, where, this is where the, the not fun thing comes in. WhatsApp. You know when you have these lots of WhatsApps and you want to back it up like I do every day? You back it up to yeah, your... Yeah, back it up. Back it up. No. 
This is not beep, the talk we've spoken beep, about this. Beep. That's the sound in your back it up. Because <laughs> he's got a big duck. Wow. Jokes, wow, guys. Wow. It's a booty joke. So you're getting that as well? In the future. We don't know when. But you know, your WhatsApp works as well. Anyway, if you're looking for like an email app, you can see yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. All the options shows you all the stuff. It says to you install. Like a normal app store. Exactly. But like with Netflix, you saw it gave us what looks like a link. A link. So you see Netflix version, blah, blah, blah. Download link. So you tap on that link and then it takes you to another page in, in the app gallery that says Netflix. But it doesn't say install like these other ones are saying. It's saying get, like with Old Mutual or the Clicks app. So if you click on get, now it's going to give you another option. Take us to the browser, obviously. So it's going to take you to the browser. So this is taking you to an APK. And the APK is actually supplied by Netflix. So, so it Net is legal. Netflix Guys, is actually supplying not, this. Don't go the illegal route. Get the real APK. Literally go what do what Huawei's app gallery is telling you to. Would you download a car? So... I mean, if I could, I would download a car. I don't know if it's a Tesla. Um, so it says download this file. So we're going to click on download this file. And you saw what it was saying download. And it's now, basically good. And now you can see, sorry, slow Wi Fi. Um, <laughs> and it would install and it would be as. Well, I'm going to show, I'm going to show you. So it's going to install, but before it installs, so it's downloaded the files, not installed. It's still sort of got separated from the SD card. Sort of almost like. If Yassine starts coughing and I'm like, we need to quarantine him and keep him away until we know if he's okay. That's what it's doing. It's quarantining. It's keeping it. It's keeping it safe. And then I must far cough. <laughs> coughing to the distance, guys. I, yeah. I didn't A very sue far it. cough. I didn't sue A very it. far cough. <laughs> no good words will be used in this video. Um, what it's going to do is Huawei's actually got its own security baked into this. Oh. So it's going to scan the app. It's going to make sure that this has actually got the approved codes from the actual app developer, which is Netflix in this case. Check all of that. Make sure there's no viruses, you see. So now it says, OK, do you want it to allow installation? So yeah. when I click allow, you can see at the bottom here. Performing security. So it does the security check. Then it says notice detected. Then it only lets you install it. Safe. See, so now you can install. Now it's going to install. That is very quick, fast phone. Open Netflix now. So, you know, give them a bit more time and it's going to be, I think, as good as Apple, as iOS's, uh, Apple's App Store or Google's Play Store. That's all from us, guys. <laughs> if you have any questions, you can um, you can ask me about other stuff, but ask him about phone stuff. You can ask the men's health people about men's health stuff. And um, if they hit the like button, subscribe, and, you know, ask questions in the comments. Yeah. And like an awkward belly button, we Audi. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs>